Hello and welcome to our video on setting up your first data route. Data routing is an easy way to create multiple or different documents from a single data feed. For example, you might want to create two documents from an order form, one as a receipt for your customer for a successful payment, and another as a shipping slip to include with the order. Both will use the same data inputs, but can produce two different looking documents. Using conditional logic, you will define which documents should be merged based on the values of predefined variables. This means you can also send the data from one data feed to documents if the values match. For example, if the payment status is incomplete on the order, you might want to send an invoice instead of a receipt or quote. Let's go through an example of how we'd set this up. To get started, we want to make sure that we've selected the Data Route tab while logged on to Formstack Documents. From here, we want to click New Data Route and then name our data route. To continue with our example, we're going to call this Order Form and then click on Next to continue. On this page, we can set the rules for how this data route will work, such as controlling which documents we want to send the data to and creating conditions that will determine which documents will be sent out. To set this up, we want to select our first document from the dropdown. In this case, it can be a receipt for if the payment was successful on the form. For our second rule, we want to choose the invoice document as an option, and then we want to add a condition that will trigger the delivery of this document for anyone who is unable to pay through our form. For the condition, we want to add the merge field that will determine whether this document is sent or not. For this example, we can add payment status as an option and then select equals from the dropdown, followed by unpaid as the value that will trigger the invoice document to be sent out. It's worth mentioning that you can have multiple conditions on a step. For example, let's say we wanted an additional merge field to be considered for if this document would be included in the data route. We could click on Add Condition and then choose and or as an option. If you wanted this document to only be sent based on multiple values, you could choose and or if you'd like it to be one or the other as a trigger, you could choose or. Another option worth mentioning is the ability to add a file that's been uploaded to your data route. Let's say we have a file upload field on our order form that includes an option to add a PO, and we'd like for this attachment to be included on the email that would be sent out to our billing team. We would first want to select Other Remote File from the dropdown and then we can specify the merge field that would be used as a delivery point for this file upload. In this case, we've created a merge field for supporting payment documentation, and then we can specify the mapping when we set up our integration for the data source. Another option worth mentioning is the ability to combine your documents into a PDF. This can be done by checking the Include and Combine PDF option at the bottom of each rule. Once you've set up all of your rules, you just need to click on Update Rules to save your progress. Just like when you're building or uploading a document, you can also specify the delivery for this data route by clicking on the Delivery tab and then choosing an option like Email. That's it on how to set up your first data route. For more information on our products, you can always click on the eye icon on the top right to access our help center or contact our support team. Thank you for watching.